So if you've been following MCU news for any amount of time since Thor The Dark World, you know that Natalie Portman and Marvel Studios were more or less a non-existent relationship. Like, it was like, no, no, these guys are never gonna work together. And at one point, this was true. Even as far back as a year and a half ago when they were shooting Avengers Endgame, she didn't want anything to do with that film. They couldn't even get her to come back, so they used old stock footage that they had from Thor The Dark World. It, it was just a bad relationship, but now we know why she came back and why she's gonna be Mighty Thor. So the history of Natalie Portman with Marvel Studios is one of those ones that's tied up in the early days of Marvel. Like Hugo Weaving, he had some bad experiences, but Disney came in and fixed a lot of issues that were happening, but some of those old issues still stayed around. For example, like Ike Perlmutter, till he got the boot out of Marvel Studios, thanks to Kevin Feige. So, with Kevin Feige at the helm, they were originally done with Thor. It was going to be three films and done. Taika came to them with an idea, featuring Mighty Thor. They didn't know if they could do this. So, Kevin decided, alright, we're going to try to set up a meeting, and you're going to pitch what the film is, and Natalie Portman has agreed to actually sit down with us, which honestly is pretty insane, you know, like, bad relationship at all, but that's awesome that they got her time. So, what Kevin Feige said was, he was sitting there, Natalie Portman on one end, Taika came in, and it took minutes. He presented his idea of the fourth Thor film, and they only wanted to do this film if she agreed to it and this was the idea. And she agreed right there on the spot. This is what she wanted, she was all set, and it was Taika's convincing and his ideas that convinced her to do it and why she's gonna be Mighty Thor now. And this is just one of those things where you see the change and how the tides have changed ever since like five years ago or six years ago with Thor The Dark World, right? It's a completely different mentality in the studio now. It's not so much like two people calling the shots. They're letting directors now have a little bit more voice than they did, a little more idea, a little more input, and try to work out things that previously did not work out. Certainly, you know, bringing her back as Jane Foster a couple months ago, it was almost impossible. Nobody could try to set that up. She wouldn't even do any like interview in regards to Endgame, even though she was technically in it, right? It was a very messy situation, but now she's literally going to be a face that's moving forward with the MCU as a brand new iteration of Thor. Yeah, how times have changed in Marvel, right? 